Zapatera Field, a joint venture between Petrobras and Chevron, is situated in the southern region of the Campos Basin, approximately 110 kilometers off the coast from Cabo Frio in Rio de Janeiro. Discovered in June 2003, this field contains oil with a 14.6 degrees API and spans over 183 square kilometers, with water depths ranging from 400 to 1,400 meters. The estimated recoverable oil from this field is around 400 million barrels. The development of production at the Papa Terra field is anchored by two main units, an FPSO, floating production, storage and offloading, unit coupled with a wellhead platform WP. The field is supported by 29 large diameter wells, including 13 dry completion producers connected to TLWP-61 and five horizontal production wells. Additionally, there are 10 satellite injection wells and one gas injection well linked to FPSO P63. All production from TLWP is transferred to FPSO P63 via oil transfer lines, with P63 operating at a water depth of 1,200 meters. The FPSO P63 is equipped to process 140,000 barrels of oil and 350,000 cubic meters of gas per day with the capacity to inject 340,000 barrels of water. It also has a storage capacity of approximately 1.4 million barrels of oil, which is subsequently transferred to shuttle tankers. Due to the low gas production in the initial years, the gas will be re-injected into the reservoir. Part of the energy generated by the FPSO will be distributed via electric cables to power submerged centrifugal well pumps and multi-phase transfer pumps, reducing the load on the P61 power generation system. The overall power generation capacity required for these operations is around 100 megawatts, enough to supply electricity to a city of approximately 330,000 inhabitants. To optimize energy resources, the FPSO features six motor generators capable of burning gas, crude oil, or diesel oil. The FPSO P63, with a length of 330 meters, can accommodate 110 personnel and is equipped with advanced technologies developed by Petrobras, such as a polymer injection plant. This plant increases the viscosity of the injected solution, enhancing the sweep efficiency and thereby improving the recovery factor of the reservoir's oil. The contracting strategy for the development of Papaterra was based on a functional specification model previously successful in Petrobras P57 project. This approach involved a single global price contract that covered the basic and detailed design, equipment and materials supply, conversion of the vessel into an FPSO, and the construction and assembly of the processing plant. The consortium of companies Quick and BW Offshore was awarded the contract on January 29, 2010, which included a stipulation of a minimum of 65% national content, ensuring job creation and income generation within Brazil. The conversion of the FPSO's hull took place at the Costco shipyard in China while other modules, including power generation units, were built at the Quick Shipyard in Rio Grande, Brazil. Petrobras also implemented significant improvements at the Honorio Bicalo construction site in Rio Grande, enhancing its production capacity and safety. A key aspect of the project was the use of large prefabricated blocks for the module decks, which reduced the welding work required on site thus saving construction time. Furthermore, major engineering decisions, such as defining the power generation system's capacity, were made early in the project to expedite the procurement process. The 20 topside modules integrated into the FPSO have a combined weight of approximately 18,000 tons. These include crucial components like gas compression, water injection, and separator modules, all of which were built in Brazil. These modules, each weighing up to 1,400 tons, were fabricated and then seamlessly integrated into the FPSO. 
To streamline the construction process and reduce execution time, a series of technical and managerial solutions were implemented. One key strategy was to make critical engineering decisions early on, particularly concerning systems and equipment, allowing for the prompt issuance of purchase orders for long lead items. For example, the capacity of the power generation system was quickly defined and procured within the first two months of the project, ensuring timely availability. The module decks were constructed using large prefabricated blocks, which significantly minimized the welding required at the assembly sites. This approach allowed for parallel construction of each floor of the module, where the installation of equipment and subsequent interconnection of floors were completed efficiently, saving considerable time. During the ship's conversion phase, several modules, including the three power generation modules, were lifted, installed, and fully tested at the conversion shipyard. This proactive integration, which included full load testing of the generators, ensured that these components were operational before reaching the final assembly stage. Opting for industry standard equipment wherever possible, rather than customized solutions, further contributed to the project's smooth progress by reducing supplier delivery times. This approach ensured that the project remained on schedule and avoided delays typically associated with bespoke equipment. The FPSO P63 began operations in 2013, significantly contributing to Brazil's oil production targets and supporting the nation's self-sufficiency in energy. As part of Brazil's growth acceleration program, this project created approximately 1,500 direct jobs and 4,500 indirect jobs within the country. The success of the Papatera field is a testament to Petrobras's technical expertise and the strength of the Brazilian offshore industry, marking a milestone in the nation's energy sector.